and welcome to another Curly Finishing video. I'm so glad you are here because today we are talking about hair growth. And not just like, okay, girl, add this oil, you know, do this thing. I mean, that does play a role, but we are going to talk about how you can extend your antigen phase, your active hair growth phase. It's a thing and we're gonna talk about it, okay? Y'all know I don't waste no time, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so when it comes to growing our hair, you guys know we have a hair growth cycle. We have the antigen phase, catagen phase, collagen phase. So our hair is either growing actively right now, or it is resting or getting ready to shed. Okay, about 10% of our hair right now is currently in the shedding phase, but the majority of it is actively growing. However, as black women, I'm gonna be honest, our antigen phase is very short compared to other people, <laughs> okay? For example, women who are of Asian descent, their antigen phase can last up to seven, even eight years. Ours is around two to four years, which is very, very short. But we can work with our bodies to maximize the antigen phase. Number one, there are signaling proteins within our scalp, within our body, that help support hair growth. And the one I wanna focus on is called insulin-like growth factor one, or IGF-1. This is like the green light to hair growth. Now on the flip side, you got fibroblast growth factor five. That is the red light to our hair growth. We don't want it, okay? But there's different factors that affect the increase of this stoplight. We won't talk about that too, okay? So take some notes, y'all, we going deep. We're going really, really deep, okay? Now, when it comes to the green light, IGF-1, this in a sense helps our hair to maintain or stay in the active hair growth phase. There are different oils that have been proven to support this hair growth protein. Rosemary, peppermint, Brainwash. Now you guys know Ayurvedic is like trending right now. There are so many amazing herbs and oils. I want to focus on Brainwash really quick. Now Brainwash, and I hope I'm saying it right, helps to upregulate the IGF-1 protein, helping to keep your hair in the active hair growth phase at a longer period of time. I recommend Brainwash oil, scalp massages, at least a few times a week. The one I recommend, I'm going to post below in the description box. Now, going back to rosemary and peppermint, these two are also powerhouses, especially together, because they are, how can I say it? They help to widen the blood vessels within our scalp so more blood, oxygen, and nutrients can actually reach the dermal papilla. And that is like the bulb of the hair where all the activity takes place. So if you are using peppermint and rosemary, like in my hydrating or hair tea rinse, up here, you know, the blood vessels are widening. So now you're increasing that activity, keeping your hair in the antigen phase much longer. And we love that, okay? Another thing you can do is exercise. What? Yes, girl. Exercise, you know, it gets your heart rate pumping, do, 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 right? But what's also happening is your blood is pumping even more to your scalp getting that blood, that oxygen, that nutrients to that IGF-1 growth protein to actually activate it even more, keeping your hair in the antigen phase, okay? So if you have been stuck at shoulder length or armpit length or bra strap length or ear length for a long time, I would definitely stop massages with either, you know, one, two, three of those oils, rinsing your hair, especially herbal tea rinse like the one that I have on your wash day. That is a game changer, especially on a freshly cleansed scalp. I also want to take it up a notch too. Increase your protein intake and increase your nutrients. That is going to help tremendously with hair growth and healthy hair care, but you also want to take a good multivitamin as well. Something that has zinc within it, B vitamins, iron, vitamin D. These are like your powerhouse hair growth food. <laughs> the last thing I want to say, I think it's the last thing I want to say, is stress. Stress will actually activate that red light protein, the one that stops the hair growth, that FGF5, fibroblast growth factor five. That is the one that hinders the antigen phase. It shortens the antigen phase. So stress will do that. Inflammation will do that. So you want to work on kind of Musala in a bit, praying, getting more sleep, 
rest, you know, whatever you need to do to stress, what that does is constricts the blood vessels, leading to less blood flow going to the follicle, code, which will then shorten your antigen phase. So long story short, y'all, okay? <laughs> there are different, these are the different factors that can help to either extend your hair growth phase or hinder the hair growth by actually increasing that FGF5 fibroblast growth factor five. So with that being said, I hope this has been helpful and just kind of making it even more clear that there's so many internal factors involved with growing our hair. So kind of keep those things in mind. And now you can talk more about, you know, signaling hair growth protein because you'll learn it here on Curly Chemistry, okay? So anyway, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please be sure to like this video. And for more Curly Chemistry content, hit that subscribe button. And of course, I have a question for you. What is your current hair growth goal? What length are you trying to reach at the moment? Or maybe you don't have a length and you're like, girl, I'm just focused on, on my hair care, okay? But whatever it is, if it's ear length, if it's neck length, short length, broad strap, waist length, knee length, toe length, whatever it is, comment below. Let us all know we are here to support you and encourage you. Lord knows I am, okay? So let me know what your hair growth goals are and I can't wait to see your responses. Of course, for all things curly chemistry, like the hydrating herbal hair tea rinse that contains rosemary and peppermint, among other amazing hair growth promoting herbs that help to support that green light IGF-1 protein. Check it out. This is what it looks like. It is amazing. The link is below. And of course, if you want to connect with me one-on-one -on -one for hair care coaching or start your own hair care line i would love to connect with you one on one the links for those will also be below in the description box all right guys i love you so much i'll see you guys soon bye